Welcome back students. In this video I'm going to briefly introduce to the variety of data sets that you can access in Google Earth Engine. So in order to access uh, those data sets and to see the overview you should go to the main page of Google Earth Engine and go to the data sets. Then a new tab will be opened where you can see um, those data sets grouped by uh, their uh, function. So, um, well, you, as you remember, Google Earth Engine uh, has um, petabytes of the data available and they collect all open, 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 openly available data sets and ingest those openly available data sets to the Google infrastructure to be stored in Google server and, be, uh, and that could be accessed by us uh, through our web browsers. So as, as you can see, there is a, a variety of uh, data sets uh, that are raster data sets that are um, designed to um, describe our climate and weather, including surface temperature, uh, climate, uh, atmospheric data sets, weather, uh, and in order, if you want to see some details, you have to uh, basically click on export temperature data, which will uh, give you some details about the temperature data sets available in Google Earth Engine. For us, uh, what is going to be important since we are going to work with land use, land cover, mapping with machine learning algorithms, it's basically the input data for classification, uh, supervised or unsupervised learning uh, tasks. And this is usually a satellite uh, images and uh, the images which we are going to work will be, for example, Landsat, uh, Sentinel, um, well, you can also work with Moody's and there are also some uh, high resolution imagery available for US, for example, from National Agriculture Imagery Program. Mm -hmm. um, well, you, in order to see what kind of Landsat uh, um, data sets available, you can go to explore uh, date uh, Landsat and here there will be Landsat collections and their description. So you can see that all Landsats are uh, basically present there. And we, if you go to Landsat 8, uh, you can see that there is different products like surface reflectance product is the best product for us. And uh, because it is atmospherically corrected, uh, geometrically corrected and delivers the data as a surface reflectances, there is also a product of top of uh, atmosphere and raw images. And uh, here there is, for, for example, tier one. If you click, this is the um, description of the, the name of the product. You uh, directly uh, have um, uh, Earth Engine snippet. So how you have to call your, um, your basically your image collection if you want to use Lancet data for your code. This will be the code how it should be written. And here is a very nice link. Let's let's click it. Yeah. So uh, when you are uh, clicking on this small uh, link, this will uh, bring uh, a Landsat image uh, directly into your uh, into your code. Yeah. So it basically um, will open a piece of code which is um, available um, pre already uh, written for you by uh, Google team, which shows you how to, um, um, to, to import uh, Landsat uh, collection. And also there is already pre-written for you some uh, uh, functions, for example, uh, how to uh, mask clouds and cloud uh, cloud shadows in Landsat uh, using quality uh, bands available for Landsat. Yeah, so this is very helpful uh, indeed. Other uh, interesting um, data sets, of course, I'm going just back, uh, Sentinel data set, because it's also LIFAS, very high special resolution images that uh, could be uh, readily uh, used for land use land cow classification. And uh, for those of you who would like to work on a um, MODIS scale, which is starting from 2000, uh, 250 meter, per pixel, this could be also uh, an interesting uh, option, especially if you are uh, intending to do time series analysis for land degradation studies or for drought assessment. Yeah. 
There is also uh, geophysical parameters such as uh, digital elevation models, which could be very important um, uh, also data set for a variety of applications. There are also already available and cover products that you can access directly from Google Earth Engine. For example, Modis Land Cover is already available here. We have some cropland data here in Google Earth Engine, especially very nice one for US. And there are another uh, geophysical data that you could explore, such as, for example, here, what is shown is a uh, night lights uh, data set.